we have a very special guest with us this morning, but he will not stay in the green room. No, 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 no. That's a baby T-Rex, part of a groundbreaking show. Uh, they're bringing dinosaurs to life with the latest technology, and we'll show you uh, how it Visiting works. Visiting here. Yes, earlier he tried to get a little of my red bull, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> You've got to be careful here anyway. A T-Rex on red bull. Now, that's uh -uh. a thing to behold. Anyway, we'll tell you about this highly innovative new show coming up. But first, we do want to turn to this very serious story almost... Andrew, thanks so much. Enlightening. It is now 44 minutes after the hour. And coming up next, nobody puts baby in a corner, especially when the baby is a baby T Rex. All righty, I heard you. Around the water cooler next. Come on back. Kids eating for a dollar. Around the water cooler this morning, dinosaurs roaming the earth again, I tell you. Please sit down and I'll tell you all about okay, it. Okay, There's gathering. a show called Walking with the Dinosaurs, the live experience. A million people have already seen this extravaganza. For more, Lisa Fletcher. You might have thought you were 65 million years too late to see a show like this. This is Walking with Dinosaurs. An unprecedented marriage of science and animatronics roaming stadiums across America. He'll grow to be over 40 feet high. Almost all of the dinosaurs in this show were created to be life-size, but unless you're here in the arena, you have no concept of how big they really are. For example, I am 33 feet off the ground right now, and she, well, she's 36 feet tall and almost touching the light grids here in the arena. <laughs> but creating 17 life-size dinosaurs, the biggest is 56 feet long, is only half the feat they've pulled off. It's been the most amazing job for me. For creature creator Sonny yeah, Childers, the dinos are in the details. The big bulky shape is impressive, but the life comes from the detail. From muscles that flex and skin that moves to eyes that tear and blink. That little glint of the light kicking off the lens and that little detail that someone spent hours on a desk carving away this little iris, and it was all worth it. You started out as a nerd. Yeah, yeah, I still am. It's a bit cringy, but yes, uh, <laughs> well, I think we're all kind of nerds. We suddenly realized that we had a show on our hands, 40 of us in the workshop, and it moved, and we all stood there and went, look what we did. Beck Sloan spent 18 months hand texturing every inch of the two miles of spandex that make the lifelike skin of the dinosaurs. Each dinosaur has a steel skeleton and inflatable skin systems, adding up to a whopping two tons per creature, each powered by 20 truck batteries and a human driver hidden in the chassis. Here we've got our control box, our emergency stop here. If this isn't on, the dinosaur won't run. Is this for dinosaur out of control? Dinosaur out of control, <laughs> but also just for, for general use. Puppeteers wirelessly operate the dinosaur's features from the back of the arena. The most heavily armored animal of all I'm in charge of the main body movement of the characters. So you're really an actor? Absolutely. Wow. Would you like a go? Have a go. I would love to give it a shot. He's angry. It's that combination of the world of art and the world of technology and science. That's something I get a real joy out of. A joy he's now shared with more than a million people worldwide and counting. For Good Morning America, Lisa Fletcher, ABC News, Houston, Texas. What's better than seeing it on screen? Seeing it right here. Here's one of the baby dinosaurs. This is a baby T-Rex. They would be about 15 feet long. <laughs> you know, a little scary here. It, it does feel like a dinosaur. You can open it. Yes. Oh, it makes can. sense. Don't bite the franchise. Yeah, right. Don't bite the franchise. <laughs> Just checking this If someone's got to go, it's me. Here's my head. Wait. <laughs> you can blink the eyes. The eyes yes, blink? Yes, the eyes blink and the nose is a little runny. Movements we want to establish here. How heavy? Oh, look at that. It's about no. 90 pounds, I think. Yes. And uh, in the, the person who operates it inside has to carry about 90 pounds and also work a lot of sophisticated uh, equipment to make machine. it move as fluidly as it does. And, and you really do get a sense, though, what it must have been like yeah. as they moved. It's very it's realistic, even sense. up close. Yeah. We were oddly afraid yes. this morning. No, nothing to worry about. Look, he doesn't move. He doesn't Walk flinch. He's very good. We'll be right back. Coming up on Good Morning America, baby 